All right, welcome back. This is uh, clip number 11, yeah? part 11 of chapter 4. We were looking at uh, computing yeah? the SGR or sustainable growth rate. Yeah? And in the slide, in the last, at the end of the last clip, yeah? we computed that the SGR for Tasha Toy Emporium uh, would be 16.2%. Uh, yeah? Right? You can just check that here. Yeah? 16.2 percent right therefore uh, we compute yeah the increase sales the new sales level how do you get this value here it is 5,000 multiplied by 1 plus 16.2 percent yeah or 1.162 yeah so you get roughly this is uh, the precise amount yeah if you take 16.2 that is a rounded yeah but this is the precise amount 5809.98 yeah, or roughly 5810 okay rough uh, nearest uh, dollar okay then cost will also go up by the same amount by SGR so the profit will also go up by the same rate yeah, which is SGR yeah 16.2 percent profit uh, sorry dividend uh, will be 40 percent of profit and then the retained earnings here yeah, will be eight to six uh, dollars eh, 826 dollars also going up by the same proportion yeah same rate then in terms of assets all the assets will go up by SGR therefore the total assets will go up to 13,363 yeah, dollars uh, so that's uh, the increase in total assets yeah then all the other items yeah, for uh, uh, the Payables, notes, long-term debt, yeah, all these three, except for common stock, yeah, because there won't be any external, yeah, equity financing. Any financing that comes will be internal from retained earnings here, and from debt, proportional debt, yeah. Remember, the debt must increase at the same rate, yeah, which is also SGR, yeah. So all the debt items, including, yeah, payables will go up, including payables, notes. And long term debt all will go up by the same rate, which is 16.2 percent. Yeah, therefore, this is for example, how do you get 1046? It is actually 900 multiplied by 1 plus 16.2 percent. You get this value here yeah? 1045.80. Yeah? Likewise, you do the same for the other three items the two items here notes and long term debt. Yeah, you leave this unchanged, there will there won't be any change here for SGR because there won't be any external equity. All right, there won't be an external equity. So uh, the retained earnings yeah, here, the amount will be three thousand one hundred plus eight two six. Okay, eight two six. You get three nine two six. Yeah, that will be the uh, cumulative retained earnings for. Uh, 2019 yeah, based on SGR yeah? and therefore when you add all this okay this amount will be equal to this amount yeah, without the need for external financing and yeah? the plug variable here will be zero yeah so this zero must be uh, the balance yeah? there, there won't be any value here yeah that means this is the correct SGR yeah? SGR says that the uh, increase in sales and the increase in assets okay the growth in assets by SGR and the growth in uh, sales by SGR will be funded by retained earnings okay and that is the internal equity or internal funding plus a proportionate increase in the debt yeah these three levels of debt and yeah? three types of debt they will increase each by SGR yeah so maintaining the debt equity ratio but there won't be any uh, external equity yeah so this is SGR this is another benchmark growth rate yeah it says the company can grow okay at this rate yeah the maximum rate that the company can grow in terms of sales and assets if the company wants to maintain the debt equity ratio or wants to maintain the capital structure and not use external equity is that okay so these two rates are uh, useful yeah benchmark rates the IGR okay 
is the rate where the company can grow without using any external funding yeah All right so this is only internal yeah but this one is the growth rate where the company can use external funding but only debt yeah? and that too only in proportion of its capital structure that means proportionate increase in debt yeah and all funding comes from internal okay internal equity and external debt uh, at the same proportion okay so these are two important yeah? benchmark growth, growth rates okay for uh, financial planning yeah all right i hope that that makes it clear now we move on to the uh, remainder yeah, of the slides okay we have covered this okay let me just all right we have finished this so we move on to the next slide okay yeah we try and explain this sgr using this diagram as we have seen okay now the sales increase yeah is higher so it is 5,808 because the SGR is higher, yeah? it's a higher rate, right? So the new level of sales is higher. Therefore, the new level of net income will be higher. Based on the dividend policy, the dividend payout out will also be higher, but the uh, retained earnings yeah, will also be higher, all at the same rate of SGR, yeah? Right, and then there will be an increase in assets, also higher because uh, the increase in SGR is greater, therefore, the total yeah, asset that needs funding will be higher, 1863. Now, this must be met by uh, an equivalent increase in liabilities and equity. Yeah? Okay, 826 will be provided by internal yeah, equity, internal funding. And the external must be 1037. Yeah? And there won't be any uh, equity, external equity. Yeah? Debt must increase by 1037 this includes all types of debt yeah payables notes and long-term debt yeah so this is uh, based on the SGR yeah is that clear all right with that we finish this uh, part okay and we summarize this by looking at the determinants of growth yeah we have seen two uh, important rates of growth yeah which is SGR and IGR yeah so we can take this uh, growth yeah, to be SGR, yeah? okay, this growth here, we take this as SGR, therefore we can explain all these factors, yeah. Now this SGR, determinants of growth, we take growth as SGR, so this is dependent on how many factors here, ROE and D, yeah. But ROE can also be uh, written this way, yeah. We have seen that in Dupont analysis. Let me just push it down slightly. Okay, yeah. Dupont analysis ROE is actually uh, broken down into three components: yeah, net profit margin, total asset turnover, and equity multiplier. Right, and therefore we can say that the SGR yeah, is uh, influenced or determined yeah, by four factors. The first one is profit margin. Okay profit margin which is here profit margin and profit margin this depends on the operating efficiency the second factor is asset use efficiency or total asset turnover from here all right and the third factor is uh, the equity multiplier which is uh, a measure of financial leverage yeah? how much debt yeah choice of optimal debt ratio yeah so the amount of debt that you use and the fourth will be the d yeah the dividend payout ratio based on the dividend policy yeah so higher these factors higher the operating efficiency higher the asset use efficiency and higher the use of debt and also lower yeah because this is uh, d minus d yeah lower the uh, dividend payout ratio then higher would be the growth rate okay so these are the uh, determinants of Growth, there are four factors that influence growth. All right, yeah, so we come to the end okay, of this chapter, but there are some important questions to uh, answer. Yeah? The first is remember that these are accounting numbers. What we have seen here is accounting numbers. Yeah? All right, yeah, note that these are accounting numbers. Yeah? So, therefore, 
we are we have to be cautious in using this accounting number yeah so we must ask ourselves some important questions yeah when we do the planning yeah so how does this uh, planning affect yeah the timing and risk of our cash flows yeah? because accounting numbers do not indicate this yeah so our financial plan is mainly based on accounting numbers yeah it is not based on cash flow and it does not provide the timing of the cash flow yeah and also the risk riskiness of the cash flow so a more important financial plan must be based on cash flows and it must indicate the timing and the risk of the cash flows yeah All right then uh, the important thing in the financial plan is to see yeah, whether there are inconsistencies yeah? meaning uh, you if you have several goals do the goals uh, 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 sorry are the goals uh, consistent yeah meaning they don't contradict one another yeah uh, and whether you would be able to achieve all those goals for example if you want to maintain your uh, debt equity ratio Okay, your capital structure can you also maintain your dividend policy okay sometimes you cannot uh, have both yeah so you have to adjust or you have to forego yeah? one uh, policy you have to uh, allow that to be a plug variable yeah? in order for the two goals to be consistent yeah you cannot have both goals at the same time all right if we follow this plan can we maximize yeah? so this is the major uh, goal it is the goal of financial management it maximize owner's wealth or shareholders wealth and do we do that by this financial plan yeah because in this financial plan we just look at growth yeah but growth is not a good measure of uh, wealth okay so we have to be careful about that and yeah? does this growth uh, lead to uh, maximizing owner's wealth okay so that's the thing that we need to be careful about yeah so in this quick uh, quiz we review what we have covered in this chapter yeah so we look at the we have looked at the purpose of long range planning okay what are the major decision areas involved okay all the financial major financial decisions yeah, made by the manager or the financial manager is included in the financial plan yeah? we have seen that yeah? including dividend payout policy yeah and then what is the percentage of sales approach okay we have seen what a uh, percentage of sales approach is yeah this is a method of uh, doing the pro forma financial statements or financial planning by assuming that cost items and asset items yeah and some uh, balance sheet items or liability items yeah they vary directly as a proportion of sales Okay, that's percentage of sales method. Yeah, so how do you adjust the model when operating at less than full capacity? We have seen that. Okay, I've shown you a, a diagram. Yeah, of how you can do that. If the first thing, if the company is not operating at uh, full capacity, then you need to compute the full capacity sales. Yeah, and then compare the estimated sales against the full capacity sales. Yeah, if it is greater than the full capacity sales then there would be an increase in fixed assets yeah but then less than proportionate if the increase or the uh, new sales level is less than the full capacity sales then the increase will only be in current assets there won't be any increase in fixed assets yeah? that, that we have covered uh, uh, in that part and what is the internal growth rate okay IGR this is the rate of growth where you depend only on the internal funding yeah, or internal financing there is no external financing no debt or no equity from uh, new issues of debt securities or new issues of equity yeah, or shares now sustainable growth rate is different because uh, this includes internal yeah, funding but also proportionate external funding yeah, to maintain the debt equity ratio okay that is sustainable growth rate yeah and sustainable growth rate will always be greater than the internal growth rate for a given firm yeah in a in a given year okay this cannot be less than this yeah internal growth rate must always be less than sustainable growth rate yeah 
and we have seen the four major determinants of growth yeah, in this chapter. With that, we finish this topic. Yeah? So, we'll end it here.